Hey guys, Jeff here with Passive Income Unlocked, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we manually add internal links to our sites. In the previous video, I showed you how we add links using the Link Whisper plugin, which I highly recommend. However, there are some reasons why we still think it makes sense to manually add internal links. I'm going to jump into those in a minute here. So let's just jump over to my computer and get started. All right, guys, so we're over here on the back end of mybackyardlife.com. I'm going to walk you through what we do to manually add internal links to our sites. And I'm going to tell you why we do this manually instead of using a plugin like Link Whisper. Um, I did shoot a video on Link Whisper in the past, so go ahead and check that out. There's a lot of benefits to using Link Whisper. It's a great plugin, um, but that doesn't mean that you should rely on it exclusively. It's definitely a shortcut to add links to your site very quickly, um, but there are some drawbacks to it. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to go over in this video. So let's just start with that. So why, why would we do manual internal linking when you can have a tool that can really shortcut the process for you and speed it up? Um, so there's a couple reasons for that. Um, one, a tool like that, and I'm just guessing here, but I have to assume that's looking for exact word matches. Um, and that's great, of course, um, but there's going to be times where you're trying to add internal links and you know the posts better than a tool will, obviously. So you might know that it might make sense to use this word instead of that one and so on. And if you know that when you're trying to add internal links, you can look for those other words that a tool might not pick up on. Um, two, and this is probably the biggest one for me, you can see the uh, internal linking opportunities in the context of the posts. So when you use Link Whisper, um, it will give you like the sentence or the paragraph or whatever that it's um, suggesting you to add a link into, and that's, that's definitely great, uh, but you're not seeing it in the context of the whole post. Yes, you can definitely open the post from there, um, but with the way that I'm gonna show you here, it's not really that time consuming either. You open up the post, you can see exactly where that is, what, what the, uh, header tag is above that so you know if it's in the right section to be adding that link um, and so on. So again, this is just a um, way to be a little bit more thorough with your internal linking. I definitely don't, I'm not suggesting you shouldn't use Link Whisper. It's a great tool and we used it quite heavily already in the past and we'll probably use it again in the future as well. This is just something you wanna do at some point if you wanna be really thorough with your internal linking and look for some of those opportunities that a tool might just miss. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do when you're gonna add internal links manually, and I think this is an important step, is you wanna tag all your posts as much as possible. So like I said, we're on Backyard Life here, and this, po or this site had no tags up until I shot the Link Whisper video. So I think I added a tag for mulch, just like you see right here. And I, shot, I, I added that tag specifically for that video just to kind of show you how we use Link Whisper on our other sites. Um, but what you wanna do, you wanna go through, look for common themes, common threads across your site and tag those posts. And that's gonna come in handy here in a, in a second. I'll show you why. So to do that, what you do, you go over here under posts, you go to tags. Actually, this isn't how you add the tags. This is how you'd view your tags. Sorry about that. Um, so these are the tags that we've added on the site so far. And we haven't tagged everything, of course, but we've tried to kind of pick and choose this, some of the themes that jumped out at us and we've started tagging accordingly. Um, but to add tags, which is what I meant to show you here, you can actually do this right from the screen here. So a couple ways you can do it, you can do a quick edit like this, and you can start typing the tag in there. Uh, make sure you're really consistent with your tags. Um, it will actually auto-populate, it'll pop up for you. So if you start typing something like birds, for example, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna give you those tags. So you can just select it like that. You gotta make sure the spelling's the same. You don't want uh, you don't want to tag one post as bird and another one as birds or anything like that. So def definitely try to group them, be as clean as possible with it. You wanna kind of think ahead of time on your structure um, so you don't make those kinds of mistakes. So that's how you add a tag to a single post. If you wanna do multiple at a time, you can do that as well. And, and all you have to do is just go in and check them here. So of course you would do a search first on your site. So search for birds, for example. Um, you check all the ones you wanna add the tag to. And you hit bulk actions, edit, apply. And then from here, you could just type in birds. Again, let it auto complete, select it this way, just to make sure you're being consistent. You hit update, it's gonna add that tag to all those posts. So once you're done with that, that's when you can go into tags over here, which we were just at, and you're gonna see all those uh, tags here. And from here, you can actually click on one of these. So with this birds tag, you can just click right here, and you're gonna see all those posts that are tagged with birds right here. All right, so the process that we are using to do internal linking, um, what we're doing is we're literally just going through post by post, and we're just looking at the title and trying to figure out what would be good to link to that post. So we're not linking from posts. We're not going into each post and trying to link out. We're not, we're not literally going in and reading the posts and trying to come up with 
Um, what other other articles can we link out to? So we're not like looking at all these posts and saying, okay, I've got almost 50 posts here on birds. I need to try to remember what posts are on this site. And then I'm going to go into this single post here and I'm going to read it and then link out where I think it makes sense. I mean, that's, that's really unrealistic. You're never going to get through it. Um, doing it that way once you have a lot of posts on your site. So instead, you just focus on linking into your into each post. So basically, you're trying to add internal links going towards this post, towards this post, towards this post. And as you do that, um, you're going you're gonna to be adding links going out from your other posts. And as you get through all your posts, you're going to have links going in and out of most of those posts. So that's, that's basically the goal there. Um, and there's a couple ways you can see what posts have uh, links going in and out. So we're, we have this over here. There's a couple columns here. So these are uh, links going out, internal links going out, internal links coming in. Um, this is with a uh, with Yoast SEO. So that's a plugin you can use, and that's a feature built in with Yoast. Um, the Link Whisper, Whisper plugin that I mentioned already has that feature as well. So if you install that, it'll uh, put a couple columns here. It'll have the exact same information. So this is a good way where you can just kind of visualize what post do I need to drive more links to? And that would be this, this last column here. So you want to, you don't want to see a zero here like this. You want to see numbers there. So that's what you're trying to do. So then literally what you do at that point in time. So what I would do is I'd have two tabs open. So let's just open another tab, all posts. You just have two tabs open like that. And you're just going to pick a post, like working your way down like this. And what I do is I just highlight it like this. So I know where I'm at. And then I'm just going to go over here. So this, this article here, six easy ways to keep a bird bath from freezing. I'm going to go over here and you're going to search for whatever you think might be relevant, uh, relevant to this post. So it might be bird bath freezing, right? But the trick here that you want to do is you want to use quotation marks. So you don't want to just do like bird bath freezing. That's going to give you too many posts. I mean, it might not on a site like this, this is a pretty specific. But in this case, it gives you three posts. That's not too bad. But depending on what you're searching for, it might give you a lot more. You might get hundreds of posts in return. And then we see that all the time. So what you do instead, you want to be very specific. So you put things in quotation marks. You say bird bath like this. And what that's going to do, it's going to pull only posts that literally have the term bird bath and then also has the word freezing as well. By doing that, you can be very, very specific, and there's a good chance that within these posts, and one of them is obviously the post we're linking to, but within this, this other post, there's probably a very good opportunity to link to this post, and that's what you're looking for. Um, but I take it a step further than that as well. So instead of doing freezing like this, I would actually do freeze, and yes, it's not spelled correctly, but that way you're going to be capturing anything that has freezing or anything that has freeze like that or freezes. So you want to shorten terms like that as well, and you search for it that way, and there you go. Now we have another post that came up in that uh, result there. So now we have two posts that we can link from. So it's a very short list, but it's it's exactly targeting what we're hoping to target here. And we don't know until we look at the article, obviously. Um, but there's a good chance that there's a linking opportunity here. So what we do at that point, we're going to open each of these. So you can actually hold control on your keyboard and then you click just like that. It's going to open your new post. So you can do it really quickly. And then what you do at that point, you're just going to jump into these posts and you're gonna look for the terms. So these are bird articles, so you don't necessarily wanna search for the term bird, um, but this article in particular is talking about freezing and a bird bath, so you're gonna look for one of those terms. So you just do control F to find, and you're gonna type for freeze, <coughs> sorry, freeze again, and you're gonna spell it wrong, just like we did before. And then there's, you're gonna find however many results, and you're gonna to wanna to use, or it doesn't matter if you use Chrome or Firefox, but you're gonna see the matches here. So if you're using Chrome, it's gonna be up here, Using Firefox, it's down here. You're going to see that there's one match here. Um, so that you know that this is the only spot that has the word freeze in this article. If it says like one of five, you probably want to flip through them with these arrows just to see what the other ones are to look at the best opportunity. Um, and as you can see right here, the birds will really appreciate this. They'll also appreciate if it will install some type of bird bath heater. This will keep the water from getting cold or freezing. So this is a perfect uh, linking opportunity. So all you got to do at that point, so we'll keep the, just like that, you highlight it. Add the link, so bird bath freeze, type that, update, you're done. While that's saving, you look, uh, move on over here and you just look for that same thing over here. Again, there's only one match. The water in the bird bath might freeze if it gets too cold. So we're just gonna highlight that. 
bird bath freeze. Just like that. And we're done. Simple as that. Go back here, make sure it's saved, which it is. Close it out. This one's saved. Close it out. Now, if we reload this page, now we've got two links coming in here and we've got one link going out here. And that's literally it. This is a process we're doing manually. Uh, me walking you through it, it might look like it takes a long time, but you can go through tons of posts super quickly doing this method. Um, you're going to have, a, because you're really filtering down using quotation marks like this, you're going to find that you don't have a lot of um, um, posts that don't make sense, right? So when you do something like this, it's going to give you a short list and a lot of those posts are going to make sense. You're not going through you know, 50 posts trying to figure out whether or not they make sense to link from this one to this one. You're going to have like three, four, five posts or whatever. And there's a good chance that most of those will have linking opportunities to the post you're trying to link to. So that's what we've been doing. We're literally just going through um, our site. We'll just have two tabs open like this. We're going down from the newest post, to the oldest ones, and we're just going one post, next post, next post, having, having this uh, second tab open, just doing the search, just, just like I showed you. And as, as we go down, you can just refresh the page and you're just going to start seeing these numbers increase. So as you can see, we haven't even started doing it yet with, with birds here on this site, but there's those two links that are going out internally. And there's the two that are coming into that, that article. As you start doing this, you're going to start seeing these numbers increase in both columns and it's going to feel really good because you're going to start to see that there's all this related content that you're adding links to strengthening that topical authority. And that's the whole goal. All right, guys. So that wraps this one up. Um, adding internal links can be a huge pain. There's no doubt about it. Something we've neglected for a long, long time on our sites. However, it has a ton of benefits and it's definitely something you need to be doing. Helps Google find your content more quickly. Helps Google figure out what content is related to the other content on your site. Um, helps other people, your actual visitors, um, find pages that are relevant to whatever they're searching for. So definitely important for you. It's going to send Google the right signals and help you rank higher over time. So again, um, check out that link whisper video that I shot in the past. That's a great way to quickly add links to your site. However, if you want to take it a step further, try this manual approach as well. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.